Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's learn about parallel queries. Sometimes a single component needs to call multiple APIs to fetch the necessary data. With React Query, it is as simple as calling use query twice. Let's look at an example. To help with this example, I have set up some additional code. Let me walk you through the changes. In db.json, I've added another entry called friends, which is an array of three objects as you can see. We have Chandler, Joey, and Rachel. Next, in the components folder, I've created a file called parallelqueries.page.js. It is a simple component that displays the text parallel queries page. In app.js, I've also added a route to render the parallel queries page. So in the browser, if we navigate to localhost 3000 slash rq hyphen parallel, we should see our parallel queries component. Now, our aim is to fetch both superheroes and friends from db.json in this page. Let's go back to VS Code and do that. First, we begin with the imports. We need use query and axios for our fetcher function. So import use query from React Query and import axios from axios. Step two, we define the fetcher functions for both superheroes and friends. So outside the component, const fetch superheroes is equal to an arrow function where we return axios.get and the endpoint is http localhost port 4000 slash superheroes. Similarly, make a copy of the function, rename it to fetch friends and the URL is going to be localhost 4000 slash friends. We now have the two fetcher functions, which means we can invoke use query within the component. Use query, the key is going to be superheroes for our first API, and the fetcher function is fetch superheroes. Similarly, for our second API, use query, let's call the key as friends, and the fetcher function is fetch friends. Since writing JSX is not new to us, we can omit the return values and the code to display the data. Instead, we can look at it in the React Query dev tools. So make sure your JSON server is still running on port 4000 and head back to the browser. Navigate to localhost 3000 slash RQ parallel and in the dev tools, we should see both the queries. Superheroes, with data being an array of three heroes, and also friends, with data being an array of three characters, Chandler, Joey, and Rachel. And this might seem trivial, but when using a library, it is pretty common to overthink how to make something work. Parallel queries are queries that are executed in parallel so as to maximize fetching concurrency. With React Query, executing parallel queries is as simple as invoking use query multiple times. Now you might have a question, when we destructure the values returned, how do we make use of the values since there would be a conflict? For example, if we had to use data from superheroes query, we would destructure data, and we have to do the same for friends as well. The way to resolve this is by using aliases. For every value, be it data or ease loading or ease error, use an appropriate alias and make use of it in the JSX. So data, 
We're going to Ilias, the first one, as superheroes, and the second one as friends. You should now be able to use superheroes and friends to render the list in the JSX. So that is about parallel queries. In the next video, let's take a look at dynamic parallel queries.